Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Lauren if you're new here and today we're gonna do another empties video and I'm gonna apologize for the way I look. I just got home from work and I'm just really tired. So I threw on a sweatshirt and I put on a lip. So that's where we're at right now. Um, today we're gonna talk about empties and all the makeup, beauty, hair care, skincare that I went through. I absolutely love empties videos. So I definitely wanted to put a spin on it this year and I'm making my big goal to use up $5,000. So I am on the way to 5K. So if you want to keep track of my journey, um, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified anytime that I upload a video because they are kind of sprinkled here and there. But I try to film at least, you know, twice a week. So anyways, let's just go ahead and get started. So we have 28 products to talk about and uh, like always, I always start off with my makeup. So I have eight makeup items to talk about. The first one is this setting spray and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray and it says party all night, stay all day. I definitely think, now this is the one ounce version. They do have a bigger one, but I got this one sent to me from Influencer Complimentary of Charlotte Tilbury. So they gave me like the smaller one like if you want your makeup to like stay all day, like it says, then this will be your friend. But it's almost like hairspray for your face. So it like, it locks everything in. And I feel like it wouldn't be so bad if we weren't wearing masks right now because it like clings to your peach fuzz on your face or like any hair that you have on your face. And it just rubs weird with your mask on. So, like I said, if, if we weren't wearing masks, probably wouldn't mind it, but, so I ended up mixing this with another setting spray. I used, like, half of it, and then I ended up mixing the other half with something else just to, like, get through it, but nothing that I would repurchase, but I have really dry skin, so if you had a little bit more, like, normal combination oily skin, I feel like you would like this a little bit better. And then I have this, like, little foundation sample Hey, it's another foundation out of my inventory numbers. This is the Lancome Tintadol Ultra Wear Foundation, and I have mine in the shade 140, which was too dark for me. I would definitely get it like a little, sh probably a shade lighter, and it was a little bit too pink for me. I liked this foundation, but it wasn't something that wowed me. So I'm to the point now where a foundation like really has to wow me in order for me to purchase it because I have almost 70 foundations. So, you know, I've got to get my numbers down and not just purchase something because I like it. Purchase it because I can't live without it. So I wouldn't be repurchasing this, but I'm glad to get another foundation out of my collection. And then this one, I did have to mix this one as well. This is the Mary Kay Mineral Powder Foundation in Beige 1.5, which is way too dark for me. Uh, so here is the, you know, pan. So I ended up mixing this a little bit with some like other powders, a little bit with a bronzer when I was like frankening a bronzer. So we finally got it done. It took years, but we got it done. Now in the correct shade, it is a good loose mineral you know, foundation, but this was just way too dark. So I was glad to get it out. I still have one more, but hopefully it should get done within the next couple of years. All right, let's move on to lips. I have four lip empties, four, yay. So the first one is this ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tool. And I had to write on there because of course all the packaging wore off. And now this is just a mini. All right. So hopefully you can see, yeah, you can see it a little bit here, like some of the windows in there. Now, I mean, I definitely could probably get a couple more uses out of this, but it's starting to separate in there and not going back when you stir it all together. But I mean, it was a really pretty color. It was dark, it was more of like a brick color. And it's, I mean, a lot of times I did have to pair it with something else just to like make it a little bit lighter. But I mean, overall, it was a pretty good shade. I don't think it would be anything that I'd repurchase, but it is good to have like one of those in your collection just so that when you need it, you can have it. But I'm just trying to get through 
my lip category this year and get through some of my liquid lipsticks because I have like 143 liquid lipsticks and I need to get those down. So getting some minis out is definitely helping my numbers and making me feel better that I'm getting through some liquid lipsticks, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, next we have this Aquaphor Lip Repair uh, chapstick and here's what it looks like the lights are just blinding it like washing it out too much so I think that's about the best angle I can get but anyways I really like this it definitely helped my lips when I was going through a really rough phase back in the probably November December time frame so it was definitely much needed but I have like 50 other you know, lip balms that I need to go through before I would could repurchase this. Okay, and then I went through a lip liner. Yay. Okay, so this one was in my Project Pan. I'm doing the 21 and 2021 20, Project Pan, like the Team Project Pan one. So I went ahead and threw this in there and I started off up here and um, I think I entered it in a little bit below that. So we were able to finally, you know, get through it. It is a clear lip liner, which I don't really understand. Um, I mean, I get that your lipstick is gonna bleed outside your lips, but I don't have a problem with that. So I ended up just kind of using this like chapstick and just kind of smearing it everywhere to get it done. But we finally got it done. Um, I Nothing that I would repurchase. Okay, and then I went through this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask Sample. And sure, this doesn't look like much, but this little pot right here, I got 18 uses out of. 18, that's insane. So I definitely wanted to show you that. I absolutely love this. I have the full size. I have literally been using it pretty much almost every single night for the last year and a half. Yes, you heard me right, year and a half. And I am still not done with it. I mean, I think I have, I'm over halfway done, but I still have a lot. Like it's going to take me two years to finish that off. So it is definitely worth the price. Like I think they went up, it was 20, I think it's $22 now, but for something that's going to last you, like I think some people can go through it in like a year if you were to use it more, but I just use it like once. Um, I, I would say at least six times, six to seven times a week. So definitely a good bang for your buck with that. And then the last one is this Mary Kay Lash Primer. And I really like this. So this one, the L'Oreal and the Lancome ones are my favorite. But um, I just like, oh, that is so gross. <laughs> I don't want to show you that. These are just a lot less expensive than the Lancome one. So I just keep repurchasing these ones. But I mean, it's good. I definitely don't stick to the three month rule with my lash primers. I'm definitely a little bit more relaxed with them and I will like use them for like six months um, or just however long they last me, but definitely um, I already have another one going. Okay, so that's it for makeup. We ended up using a total of $88.10, which is probably like one of my lowest months ever for makeup, but you know, I had a, I always have a lot of makeup empties for December because I'm like pushing to finish them off by the end of the year. So to have eight empties, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. And I know I'm gonna have some more for next month. So we're getting through the products. Oh, and I also didn't mention, but at the end of the video, I am going to go over some of the purchases that I made this month. I am trying to go on a low buy this year and I didn't do too great with the first month, but I haven't really purchased a lot. Now, okay, I just had a major haul. Um, I'll post that video up here, but I had accumulated that stuff over like three months, but I'm purchasing a lot less from Sephora and Ulta. And the main things that I'm purchasing are like BoxyCharm and Ipsy add-ons. So those are generally at least 30 to 50% off, if not 70% off. So I'm getting a really good bang for my buck when I do purchase those. So I'm trying not to do as much of that, but I don't know what rules I want to like set for myself. I kind of wanted to see how the first month went 
and I was doing really great until I went to TJ Maxx. So, well, more on that later. Okay, so next is skincare, and we got through some pretty good stuff, some stuff that took me a while to go through. So the first thing I'm so proud of myself, I went through another eye cream. This is the Dr. Brandt Needles No More, No More Baggage Eye Deep Puffing Gel. And this one, I don't know why. I feel like my lights aren't that bright, but it's literally blinding everything. Anyways, so I went through that. I'm so proud of myself because I didn't really care for this one, but I wanted to get my money's worth even though I think I got this in a BoxyCharm. So I think, so I got it for a fraction of the price of what it actually is. Cause I think this is, this is $42. So, I mean, it lasted me like probably six months or so, but I had to use a lot of it, maybe like five months, but I had to use a lot of it each time. And it was a tinted, it was like a little bit of an orange -y color, but it did like obviously, melt in and you know sink in very good but meh, nothing that I would nothing that I would repurchase one that I would repurchase and I am so freaking sad to see this go this is probably one of my new holy grail moisturizers yes you heard me right I'm actually happy with a moisturizer who am I um I just have so extremely dry skin like, if you watched my last video, the haul one, like, you could tell that was filmed back in December, and I had, like, dry patches all under here. You could see it on my face. Like, I could have really bad eczema flare-ups, and my skin will just freak out. So, I'm really excited that it's doing pretty good right now, uh, you know, not having any more of those. But I think that's partially because I of this and, of course, the steroid cream that I was on. But uh, this is the Vichy Lift Active Supreme Moisturizer. It is an anti-aging moisturizer. And this was beautiful. I absolutely love this. This is definitely going on my list of moisturizers to repurchase. And this is a third of the full size. But first of all, the packaging is like super cute. So this is a little bit more expensive than like drugstore, but not quite quite as much as like some of the higher end. I'm pretty sure the full size is still like 30 something dollars, but I mean, that's not terrible. This, I definitely would recommend this for someone who has dry to very dry skin. I think if you were to be more normal, you could use it, but it would have to be your nighttime moisturizer. But I love this, it's fragrance free. It was definitely, it just had like one of those like clean scents to it. I like it, it was thick, but it wasn't like too thick. It smoothed on or smeared on, whatever you wanna say, really well. Highly recommend this. Definitely gonna repurchase as soon as I go through like the three years of moisturizers that I have. This will be at the top of the list. Speaking of moisturizers, um, so I would use this one during the day and then I will use moisturizers at night that I don't care for as much because I can always pair them with an oil and I need all the hydration that I can get when I'm going out and about. Um, but when I'm at the house, I can always reapply oils or more moisturizers. So this is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. And this is the old packaging. I They have since put it in one of those pumps that you can, um, or those airless pumps that you just push like that and the product comes out. Which is really good because this packaging, the product was so liquidy and runny that if you were to like do this, it would just like pour out, which is weird for a moisturizer. This is nothing that I would repurchase. One, I like a thicker cream. Two, it wasn't moisturizing enough for my really dry skin. Three, it's like $65. So, and you get like the standard 1.7 fluid ounces. So nothing that I would repurchase. Um, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to have a little bit of calming effects to it, but um, it, it, I don't know if it really did anything with my, you know, dry skin flare ups. This one took forever as well. This is the H2O Beauty Oasis Quench the Day Hydrating Mist. And this one was in my Supernatural Project Pan. And this one took a while. This was one of those, con oh, there was a little bit, 
continuous mist. There he goes spitting. Um, continuous mist sprays. Um, it's supposed to be like a rehydration spray, but I ended up just using it. Well, the first half of the product, that's how I used it. The second half, I ended up just using it in the place of like my essence. So I just spray this as soon as I wake up, just refreshing my face and then I would go in with the rest of my skincare, but nothing that I would repurchase. That's just how I'm trying to go through the facial sprays that I have, because I think I have like seven or left, and they're gonna go bad before I, you know, use them if I don't use them somehow. All right, next is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, and this is just a little mini oil. And I said before that I thought that I really liked this, but I mean, it's just fine since I've tried, I feel like the more I try different oils, the more I like those better than the other ones that I've tried before. So this is just very lightweight, uh, almost more of like a dry oil. So if you have more normal skin and you wanna want to incorporate an oil into your routine, this might be a good one for you, but didn't give as much hydration as I would like. And then this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna count this as an empty because I've used pretty much most of it. It is the Mary Kay Clear Proof Blemish Control Toner and it's got 2% salicylic acid. I'm like down to here. I mean, I've used, my goal, my thing is if I use more than two thirds of the product or it took me like a really long time, like a year, two years, multiple years to go through it, I'll count it as an empty. So I've literally had this for, ooh, multiple, multiple years. Um, the salt silk acid is definitely not uh, potent anymore. But I mean, I think I'm, I'm down to like right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and count this. I ended up getting a pharmacy 2% BHA toner in my last BoxyCharm. So I ended up just saying, get rid of this. You never use it. I And I can't use this all over my face. This one is drying. So I could really only use it around my nose. So I'm just getting rid of that one. And then we have two kind of sample things. This is the Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. I think it's called the Hydration Serum now. Um, but anyways, I just used it as, as like a hyaluronic acid. I got three uses out of this. It was fine. Nothing that I would repurchase because of the price of it. And then this one is the Tula Skincare Star Bright Nourishing and Brightening Cosmic Hydro Gel Mask. It's a long name. I actually liked this mask. I know, who am I? I hate masks. I mean, sitting on your face part still was not great, but it definitely made my skin feel hydrated. And so I was super excited. But then the next morning when I woke up, I had little pimples on my face. So I definitely made me break out. So unless it was complete coincidence, I have one more of these. I'm just gonna throw it in a giveaway because yeah, I don't want a chance breaking out again, but I mean, it did give good hydration. All right, so next is hair care and I'm going to very briefly show you this because it is very gross, but it is my Tangle Teaser and Charlie got a hold of this one. So my puppy. Still thinks things like this is a toy, but you know, what What can you do? Um, yeah, so I got a new one in like a FabFitFun, I think like the winter one. So I am already using that one in my shower. I actually like that one better because these bristles were like a lot softer and those ones are a little bit more stiff and it just kind of works a little bit better because of this. Now, I have used to just br dry brush my hair before I got in the shower, but I feel like that's causing a lot more split ends and breakage. So what I do now is I wait till I get in the shower and then I brush my hair while it's wet. I can't really do it with that when they have conditioner in because I hate when my hair is all like tangly and stuff with the shampoo, like shampooing. So, and then conditioner, like my hair is just, like my brush is just slipping in my hand, it just doesn't work out very well. So what I've been doing is, 
spraying something in my hair, some type of like oil or can like spray conditioner, something like that, just so that I have like a little bit of an extra slip in my hair. So this is the Unwash Anti-Frizz Spray Serum. So I tried to use this in my hair, you know, as like a spray serum, anti-frizz, whatever. No, it makes your hair so greasy. So what I ended up doing was just spraying this in my hair before I got in the shower. It gave it a little bit of a slip. So the brushing out process was so much easier. So I am now just incorporating that into my routine. So any type of leave-in conditioner spray that I don't like, I will just spray in my hair before I go and get it done that way. I went through a hairspray. This is the Chi Enviro 54 Firm Hold Hairspray. And this is the travel size. It is 2.6 ounces. This was fun. Nothing that wowed me. Um, it I would say it's pretty firm hold. I ended up using this. I mainly use this for days like today where I have my hair up and I just want to make sure my flyaways and everything's kind of staying down. But if I put it in my like hair hair, sometimes it'd make it feel like a little crunchy. So eh, it was fine. I did like this. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Deep Conditioner Plus Keratin. Now, this is the travel size as well. It's two ounces. Now, I don't know if I can tell the difference between this one and the regular one. Like the keratin versus, I don't know if I really see a difference. I know it works. I know I like it. So, I'll definitely repurchase it. I have about three more, three or four more to go through before I can repurchase a mask. But this this one and the Briogeo Don't Repair Despair, no, nope, Don't Despair Repair one are probably like my top two ones. And then I just went through this little sample packet of the, oh Lord, Sasha one. Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. Eh, it was just fine. Nothing that stood out. Okay, so our last category is miscellaneous and body. So I want to go ahead and, and go over this one because I think this one is hilarious. So this is the Over Easy. It is like a dietary supplement. Now, this is one of those things that you take, let's say you're going out for a night. You're going to be drinking. So this is something that you would take at the very beginning while you're drinking and it. I swear it prevents hangovers. So um, I, I've i used probably, this is my third one or so. And I mean, I don't really go out very often anymore. I work nights and weekends, but the three times or so that I do go out a year um, or like on a weekend, these are really great for that. So you don't have to worry about it. They're a little bit more expensive, but I think they're like $2 a piece and you only get like one pill. But I mean, if you're gonna go out or you know you have to like go to work the next day or you have something and you don't, you know, need to be in bed all day, this is actually a really great thing. I think you can get it on Amazon and on their website, but I, I thought it was hilarious and I wanted to show it to you guys in case this is something that you might, you know, be interested in. And then back to normal stuff. Um, I went through this native deodorant and this is in sea salt and cedar. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. This smells like a sexy man, but like not too masculine where I couldn't wear it. I don't know. It just smells, I don't get the, I think I get more of the cedar, but then again, it doesn't smell like woodsy. It just smells like men's cologne. I don't know. It smells really good. I definitely am going to repurchase this one. It is a natural deodorant and I've been having a little problems with natural deodorants recently. So I don't know, but I, I know I did go through this one a little bit faster than some of the other ones because it is a soft formula, but I'm glad it's not one of those ones that you have to like hold under there and let warm up because those are really annoying. I went through another pack of my Schick Intuition razor refills. These are the ones that have the soap around them. I don't know how anyone shaves without them. These are just great. Don't have to worry about shaving cream. It literally takes me like a fourth of the time it would if I was doing it regularly. 
buy them on Amazon though, because they, you can get a, like 12 of them for $30 instead of getting one of these three packs for like 17 at the grocery store. So just go ahead and get them on, you know, Amazon. And then I have this little perfume sample. This is the Kat Von D Saint perfume. And this was pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite. Definitely like this one better than the Sinner perfume, which I thought I would be the opposite. But this one's just very light and fresh. And I have the lipstick stain in my hand. Um, it's just very light and fresh. And I don't know if I'd like run out to repurchase it but if i got any like more free samples i would happily use them oh and then this one's hilarious because this is so extremely old i have absolutely no idea how old this is um this is from bath and body works it is the 24 7 ultimate moisture body cream and it says breathe romance sensual sensuous amber murph Myrrh? I don't know. This is 6.7 ounces and it was a body cream and this is a glass packaging. So I have absolutely no idea how long Bath and Body Works has not had glass packaging. But I mean, as you can see, I scraped it out. So the only way that I use this and why it took me so many years to go through it is I would literally use the slightest amount every night. Well, not every night. But um, especially during the winter, though, on my hands before I went to bed. And it was just a, like a thick layer. It didn't really have much of a scent. It sent one away a long time ago. But it just really did repair my hands at night. But, I mean, any body cream would do the same. But, yeah, went through that. Very excited. I went through Ulta Beauty Foaming Hand Soap and Apple Cider. I don't think I would repurchase this scent again. I don't know. It just wasn't my favorite. I mean, it is exactly what it smells like. It's apple with some cider notes in there, but eh, I like some other things better. And then the Kirkland Adult Multivitamin Gummies, and I get these ones on Amazon, or you can get them at Costco. They're like, a 10, I think they're $10 for 160 gummies, and you take two a day. So I really think that this has made a difference with me not catching as many colds as um, I nor I used to. So definitely recommend any type of multivitamins. Okay, so I'm gonna speed through this because I have literally been talking for 42 minutes. So our, we went through a total of $425.56, which is good because I always try to get at least $400 worth of product every month. So then I can hopefully get my, I don't know why I picked that number. I guess that was just kind of like a little bit of the average of what I was going through. So that's my goal to get through that much each month. And if I do that, then I should have no problem hitting my $5,000 goal again this year. I know the very first year, I think I did like 4,800. And then last year I did 5,400 and like $51 or something. So I'm pretty sure I can hit it again this year. I hope I'm not cheating myself in the foot, but you know, it is what it is. Um, as far as purchases, I got another pack of razors, a like 12 pack for 30 bucks. Um, I did get a little, I think I got a thing on BoxyCharm. Oh, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dew Mist and maybe one other thing. I don't remember. All of these things are going to be in my next haul video, but I just want to kind of go through the prices to keep myself accountable and so I can come back and look and see how much I'm spending each month. So I ended up spending $15.12 on that and so I was doing great and then I went to TJ Maxx for a dog bed and I came out with $98.01 worth of makeup hand soap and body wash so there's that um i think i got like five makeup products um i think two hand soaps and a body wash like a huge one so i mean not terrible but definitely didn't need them but i wanted them so anyways that's gonna be it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did an empties video and what you used up this month because I would love to come check it out. These are my favorite videos. 
to watch and film. So definitely let me know down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.